Hey everyone, Mark McComb here from Microchip Technologies 8-Bit Microcontroller Team. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to download all the tools you need to get up and running with our 8-Bit PIC and AVR microcontrollers, all in three easy steps. In step one, we're going to install the MPLAB X IDE, which is Microchip's integrated development environment. Uh, this is the tool that provides a single interface to develop, debug, and program any of Microchip Technologies 8, 16, and 32-bit microcontrollers and digital signal controllers. In step two, we're going to install a compiler for the given device we are working on, which is, in this case, an 8-bit device. Finally, in step three, we will install the MPLAB Code Configurator plugin. The MPLAB Code Configurator, or MCC for short, provides a very high-level overview of the device you are developing application code for by abstracting away things like registers and other low-level components that can be kind of confusing to newer users. Using an easy-to-use graphical programming interface, the MCC plugin also reduces the amount of code you have to write. It does this by actually generating a lot of the configuration code for you. So let's get started. Let's start by downloading the MPLAB X IDE. We need to navigate to www.microchip.com forward slash MPLAB X. On the MPLAB X homepage, scroll down to the download section and then select the IDE version for your particular operating system. I'm using a 64-bit Windows machine here, so that's what I will select to start downloading the executable. Now, just a, a note that since this is a free software, I do highly recommend that you come back to this web page regularly and check for updates. Your ID will also notify you when IDE updates are available. The point is that you'll always want to have the latest libraries and bug fixes, so you want to download the latest version of the IDE. This is going to be especially important when using a newer microcontroller or digital signal controller. Once your download is complete, run the executable to open the installation wizard and follow the prompts. I usually just leave everything at its default settings. For more information on any of these settings, just refer to the MPLAB X IDE user's guide and that's going to be available in the downloads section of the MPLAB X IDE homepage. On the Select Applications page, check or uncheck the various applications you'd like loaded on your machine. You'll want to make sure that MPLAB X IDE is selected here. The MPLAB IPE uh, is a standalone GUI that you uh, may wish to use to program your device with a .hex file. This standalone programmer means you can program the device without actually having to open MPLAB X IDE. You'll also want to select whatever devices you'll be using in the device support section. Finally, you can choose to take part in an anonymous collection of your usage information in the IDE to help our team here improve future revisions of the IDE. This won't collect any information um, that you don't want collected, including any of your code you've developed. If you're not comfortable with this, simply deselect the checkbox and click Next. Click Next again to begin the installation. Now, depending on your connection speed and the configuration settings uh, you selected earlier, this could take a few minutes. Therefore, I'm going to fast forward through this process in the interest of time. It's also worth mentioning that the installation of a new version of MPLAB XID will not uninstall any previous versions. Therefore, the user will need to go and uninstall other variants of the IDE manually. At this point, the IDE is installed, which brings us to step number two, installing the compiler. In the final window of the MPLAB X IDE installation, if we click Finish, our browser of choice will actually open up to the selected tools homepages listed here. On the MPLAB XC compilers homepage, scroll down and then click on the Compiler Downloads tab. Similar to when we installed the MPLAB X IDE, click on the link for your specific compiler you want installed for the specific operating system you're using. This tutorial focuses on 8-bit devices, so I'm going to choose the MPLAB XC8 compiler for my Windows 64-bit machine. Note that the number following the XC will actually indicate which device family the compiler is used for, so XC8 for 8-bit, XC16 for 16-bit, and so on. You will need to actually install each compiler separately uh, if you want to use um, more than just the 8-bit one we're using here today. Once downloaded, I'll click on the executable for the selected compiler to launch the installer and just follow the prompts. 
I'm going to use the free version of the compiler, which has no code size restrictions or timeouts. If you did purchase a license, then you should indicate the type of license you purchased here, and you'll be prompted after the installation for the license key. In the installation directory window, I'm just going to use the default directory, which is the program files folder on my Windows machine's C drive, and I'll keep everything else at its default settings as well. I'll click next to install the compiler. Again, this is gonna take a few minutes, so I'll pause the recording to fast forward through this process. And that's it, the compiler is installed. If you've purchased a compiler, you'll want to add your activation key at this time. Otherwise, just click next and then finish to close the installer. So now we have the IDE and the compiler installed. In order to complete the final step, what we're gonna to need to do is actually open up the IDE. Step three, let's go ahead and open the IDE. Once the IDE is open, in order to install the MPLAB Code Configurator plugin, click on Tools in the toolbar and then Plugins. In the Plugins window, select the Available Plugins tab. You should now be shown a series of plugins you can install that do various things. Scroll down through the list to locate the MPLAB Code Configurator and check the box next to the listing. Click the Install button and then Next in the window that opens and follow the prompts. Now, anytime you add a new plugin to MPLAB X, you're going to need to restart the IDE in order to activate it. So make sure the Restart Now radio button is selected and click Finish to restart. Once the IDE restarts, you should now see the MPLAB Code Configurator icon at the top of the IDE. You're now all set to start developing projects. As a side note, you may also wish to install an additional plugin called the Data Visualizer using the same steps you use to install the Code Configurator. The Data Visualizer gives you a number of ways to interface with your development board, including a serial terminal interface that will actually be used in some of the demos you'll see here. For more information on this or similar topics, please visit www.microchip.com. I'm Mark McComb. Thank you for watching.